I'm Tom Kading, and I'm an attorney at Fargo Patent and Business Law. Today I'm going to talk about preliminary patentability searches. Inventors often ask the question, can my idea be patented? Patents can cover a tremendous amount of subject matter. There are some limitations, but generally speaking, when it comes to a utility patent, a process, a product, manufacture, or composition of mat matter are eligible. This analysis is typically referred to as a subject matter eligibility. Once you determine if your subject matter can receive a patent, then you can start thinking about whether you should apply for one. You need to consider prior art. Prior art is basically anything that has come before the filing date of your application. This prior art can disqualify your idea from being patentable. Really, when you look at prior art, you need to consider two major concepts. First, you need to consider what is called Section 102. Section 102 is the novelty or anticipation section of patent law. What this means is that if there's any other item of prior art out there that has all the elements of your invention, your idea is anticipated and therefore you cannot receive a patent. Under 102, each and every element of your invention must be displayed in the prior art in an order for 102 to disqualify it. The second major section to consider is section 103. Section 103 is what is referred to as the obvious section of patent law. This section basically states that if it is obvious to combine two or more items of prior art, even if none of them have all the invention's elements, your invention may not receive a patent. When it comes to a preliminary patent search or opinion, the goal is to try and determine what the closest items of prior art are and if they could potentially disqualify you from receiving a patent. A preliminary patentability search often includes a patentability opinion. Not all firms include the, patent, the opinion with the search, but I believe the opinion is one of the more helpful parts of the preliminary patentability search. This is because patents can be very complicated and convoluted. An opinion is just a representation by the attorney as to how they believe the cited art will impact your patentability. Patent law in general is very complicated and has many exceptions and special rules. We at Fargo Patent and Business Law have, have the experience running businesses and we understand business. This unique trait can help bridge the gap between the needs of business and the demands of the legal system. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, this is Tom Kading from Fargo Patent and Business Law.